Wake up everyone and smell the coffee. It's Monday here at Muscle in the Morning and I'm Dave Palumbo and today is July 30th, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. You know that feeling you get when you work your butt off for something for years on end without ever actually being able to get your hands on it? And then all of a sudden the clouds open up and you see the opportunity of a lifetime you've been waiting for right before your face. Well, how much do you want to bet that that's exactly how Shanique Grant is feeling right about now? With Juliana Malacarney out of this year's Olympia, it looks like the stars have finally aligned for Grant, the athlete we dubbed the future of the women's physique division back in 2016. But before we go ahead and start penciling her name on the title, let's not forget about the history lesson we all learned back in 1998 when the whole world thought it was a lock that Flex Wheeler was on his way to being crowned the next Mr. Olympia. Because even though the door is open, there's still no guarantee we'll be the first one to make it through. If you've ever heard writers or artists talk about being in the flow state, then you know once you get to that place, the best thing you can do is just let it ride. And apparently, Julie Mayer isn't having any problems embracing the wave right about now. Yesterday we saw the veteran standout release a new training clip less than 24 hours removed from hitting the stage at the IFBB LA Championships where it looks like she must have caught a little bit of that Southern California vibe. Every time we've seen her this year, Mayer's done a nice job of making little tweaks and adjustments to bring something new to the table. So as long as she can keep riding the wave, I think we'll probably see Julie Mayer continue to keep chipping away at her masterpiece. Let me be honest here for a minute. Nine out of ten times when I hear a guy tell me that he's been growing into a show, I just roll my eyes because I know it's a giant load of crap. But my old friend Juan Morel is one of the rare exceptions. Over the weekend, we saw Juan Diesel Morel flash some new updates nine weeks out from this year's Olympia. And I have to say that this is the old world beater Juan Morel that I know fans have been waiting for to see for the last two seasons. According to Juan, he's tipping the scales at right about 277 pounds right now and feels like he's really got everything clicking. And when guys like Juan Morel with top 10 Olympia potential tell you that they've got it all clicking, usually means that some poor soul is about to end up on the outside looking in. We wouldn't be doing our due diligence over here if we didn't make a point to celebrate International Chess Day on this fine Monday morning. And thankfully for us, Jose Raymond looks like he's in the mood to celebrate too. Bright and early today we saw the Boston Mass out getting an early morning pump in with a few sets of heavy incline presses as phase three of his prep starts to kick up into high gear. Over the last two or three weeks, it feels like Jose is starting to get back into that super nasty East Coast groove once again. And with this year's contest literally set to be one for the ages, I'm sure he wouldn't mind a headline at the top of the page that read, Jose Raymond, 2018, 212 Olympia champ. Even though we're a little past the halfway point in the season, it still feels like it's been a crazy year in the classic physique division. But it might be about to get just a little bit more interesting if former men's physique Olympia champ Mark Anthony decides to become the latest athlete to make the jump. Earlier this year we reported on some rumblings from the Anthony camp that they were considering making the switch over to classic physique at some point this season and that time might be getting here sooner than we all thought. The latest updates from the champ show him rocking a size and conditioning combination that looks a little different than anything we've seen from him up until now. So if he does decide to hop in at some point between now and the end of the summer, it'll be interesting to see how he stacks up against some of the juggernauts in the division. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.